Some custom characters have traits that are similar to the characters in the main game. Others have abilities that are brand new. Today's character is an example of that. Welcome back to a survivor's guide to this war of mine. Today we will be looking at the photographer. As with all these custom characters, I've already done a tutorial on making them, so check that out if that's what you're after. So let's start with the photographer's abilities. Their trait is that they have a keen eye for detail. This means they can find extra scavenging spots when out at night, apparently. This makes them a very good scavenger to have, you'd think. However, it is hard to confirm if they do actually get improved scavenging or these extra locations that they talk about. There is some dispute about how useful this trait actually is. If you do have any official information that you can share about this or any tests that you have done, please do drop it in the comments below. But this is the thing, it has been quite sporadic whether or not it works. On the combat side of things, they are known to be competent, but not particularly strong. Therefore, I'd recommend not throwing them too deep into dangerous combat encounters. And if you do need to, make sure that they have a decent weapon. Their speed is relatively average, and as all the custom characters, they have the carrying capacity of 12. Personality-wise, from my experience, they are relatively strong mentally, but do not have any special abilities to keep them happier or to help others. So that is the mechanics of the photographer. I'm sorry I can't give more details, but I do hope that it is helpful nonetheless. Now we will move on to their story. So the initial paragraph bio for the photographer is as follows. I came to Pogoran for business. I met a young, lovely model. I agreed for a photo session with her, as I thought she was exceptional and expected she would make a great career. We met a couple of times, before and after the photo shoot. Unfortunately, war put an end to all of that. I don't know what happened to that girl, but I got stuck here, with no way to get home. I'm afraid I might not make it out of here alive. So we have a lovely model that they were working with before the war began. Whether they get back to their job depends on your abilities in the game. We have the endings. War took the photographer's life. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's terrifying how blind chance can determine whether we live or die. If the photographer kills themselves, despite support from others, the photographer gave up on hope and committed suicide. Who would have known it would end like this when they arrived in Pogoran? If the photographer decides to leave the shelter, one night, the photographer slipped away from the shelter. All trace of them was lost. Now we have the endings if they make it to the end of the war. If they make it to the end, but with bad karma. When the end of the war made travel possible once more, the photographer went back home. They tried to find something about the young model they had met in Pogren, but failed. Most likely she did not survive. A handful of pictures and memories was all that was left of her. If they make it to the end of the war, but are sad and traumatised from the experience. When the war ended, the photographer went back home. They hadn't heard any news about the fate of the fascinating young model they had met in Pogoran, even though they tried to contact her. Was she alive? Did she manage to avoid the atrocities? Would she even remember them? The photographer still has no answers. And finally, the best ending. If the photographer makes it to the end of the war, in good spirits and happy, healthy and alive. After the war, the photographer found the model that they had come to Pogoran for. They found out that they had a much more in common than they thought. Together, they left Pogoran to find a better life. So there you have it, the story of the photographer. I hope you have found this interesting. If you have, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you next week for the Computer Specialist. Ta-ra.